As I lay asleep in Italy, there came a voice from over the sea, and with great power it forth led me to walk in the visions of poesy. I met murder on the way. He had a mask like Castle Ray. Very smooth he looked yet grim. Seven bloodhounds followed him. All were fat and well they might be an admirable plight. For one by one and two by two he tossed them human hearts to chew, which from his wide cloak he drew. Next came Fraud, and he had on, like Eldon, an ermined gown. His big tears, for he wept well, turned to millstones as they fell. And the little children who round his feet played to and fro, thinking every tear a gem, had their brains knocked out by them. Clothed with the Bible as with light, and the shadows of the night, like Sidmouth next hypocrisy on a crocodile nearby. And many more destructions played in this ghastly masquerade, all disguised even to the eyes, like bishops, lawyers, peers, or spies. a bloody sword for the service of their lord. Lawyers and priests, a motley crowd, to the earth their pale brows bowed, like a bad prayer not over loud, whispering, Thou art law and God. When one fled past, a maniac maid, and her name was Hope, she said, but she looked more like despair, and she cried out in the air. My father time is weak and gray, with waiting for a better day. See how idiot-like he stands, fumbling with his palsied hands. He has had child after child, and the dust of death is piled over every one but me. Misery, oh, misery. Then she lay down in the street, right before the horse's feet, expecting with a patient eye murder, fraud, and anarchy. When between her and her foes, a mist, a light, an image rose, Small at first and weak and frail, like the vapor of a veil. A rushing light of clouds and splendor, a sense awakening and yet tender, was heard and felt, and at its close these words of joy and fear arose. Men of England, heirs of glory, heroes of unwritten story, 
nurslings of one mighty mother, hope of her and one other. Let a great assembly be of the fearless and the free on some spot of English ground where the plains stretch wide around. Let the blue sky overhead, the green earth on which ye tread, all that must eternal be, witness the solemnity. From the corners uttermost of the bonds of English coast, from every hut, village, and town, where those who live and suffer moan for others' misery or their own. Like lions after slumber, in unvanquishable number, shake your chains to earth like dew, which in sleep have fallen on you. Ye are many, they are few. From the workhouse and the prison where pale as corpses, newly risen, women, children, young and old, groan for pain and weep for cold. From the haunts of daily life, where is waged the daily strife with common wants and common cares, which sows the human heart with tears. suffer woes untold, or to feel or to behold your lost country bought and sold with a price of blood and gold. Let a vast assembly be, and with great solemnity declare with measured words that ye are, as God has made ye, free. shall then become like a precious thundering doom ringing through each heart and brain heard again 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 rise like lions after slumber in unvanquishable number Shake your chains to earth like dew, which in sleep had fallen on you. Ye, Ye are, many. are many, they, they are few. Are few.